can never ever find the right words and there's no way this is real life there's no telling you Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. Today we're here at the garage. Before I start this video, I just want to give a huge special shout out to everybody that wanted to contribute to the 650i. So here's newer in the future. Pulling up all the names right now. I want to say a huge special shout out to everybody here that wanted to contribute to the 650i build. So shout out to Justin Dezay, Daniel McDonald, IF, Miguel Lopez. I feel like I see that name all the time. Ian Flynn, which I feel like I see it often as well. Gustav Boer, Renee Farrell, Tony Marissa, Frank Castaneda, and Amar. El Sadi. So I, I don't know if I said all these names right. I probably butchered every single one of them. Shout out to all you guys. For everyone that spends over $20 in the store, you guys' names will be featured on the 650i plaque, which is going to be also on the wall at the shop. And if you guys just want to purchase anything at all, you'll be shout out in the next video like a lot of these guys have. So thank you all so much. Without further ado, cop something to support your man. And if you guys want to get featured, without further ado, let's jump right back into the video. And now that we are back today, I'm going to be driving a car. At least I think I'm going to be driving or at least seeing and sitting inside of a dream car of mine. You guys know that what we do here in this channel is BMW stuff, but obviously supercars are some next level stuff. BMW is the best bang for the buck when it comes to cars, anything under 50 grand, but obviously when it hits supercars, it doesn't really matter what brand it is or what make, what model, because supercars are all fast, beautiful. I love them all. So anywho, in today's video, hopefully we're gonna be running into a friend of mine from Foreign Builds, and he has a Lamborghini Performante. It's not even a regular Huracan, it's a Huracan Performante, which is insane. I've never even sat in a Huracan before, so this is gonna be really cool. We, I'm, we might be able to drive it in this video as well. And then what I'm also gonna be doing is setting up this car against a Performante and seeing how slow this is compared to it. Or maybe it can at least kind of keep somewhat of a gap. I, I have no, I, I, I have no expectations, but it'll be kind of fun to get this thing against the Performante and see how much faster that car is. We're gonna be meeting up with them at 4 p.m. It's only 1.30 right now, so. You guys saw that we nearly completed the interior of the 435. The only thing I'm not, you know, super pleased with this is Alcantara. So obviously I work in the garage, I get in the car, my hands are super dirty. And you guys can see that the Alcantara got some of the dirt inside of it. So I wanna clean this up. If you maintain this on time, none of this will actually be permanent. But if you let this go for about a year, you will cause some permanent damage. So let's go ahead and get that steering wheel out and go ahead and try to restore this to the best of my ability. I'm no professional, but as you guys can see, slightly faded here and I wanna restore this. All right guys, just disconnect the battery. Let's go ahead and get the steering wheel out. All right guys, I don't know if y'all can see it, but uh, basically I never put my hand down here, so it's pretty nice down here. It's slightly faded up here, and if you guys come around, slightly faded up there. Um, I think I haven't, I haven't, I haven't, I've only walked it for like a couple months, so I think I should be fine, but uh, definitely needs to get worked on. So this is the product I'm going with. I'm gonna have a link down below if you guys want it. This is what all my friends use, so I think this is good. So go to go ahead and just dab that all over the place. I'm not even gonna be cheap. I might even use the whole damn bottle. <laughs> but who cares? Let's go ahead and do the whole steering wheel. I also wanna realign this cable right here because it's getting in the way of the horn. And then other than that, I think uh, it's gonna look really good. So yeah, here's the before and uh, hope we can get a good after. actually dried up yet but I can see it's it's super soaked but it looks so much better I don't know if you guys can see the difference it already looks so much better so I'm just gonna let this dry off and hopefully this wheel is back to our original condition steering wheel is not dried up yet but it's looking so much better I'm happy I tackled this early so I might my, my steering wheel is not permanently damaged but guys check that out that looks beautiful it looks super good so I'm super happy about that let's just go ahead and reinstall the wheel real quick talk to me baby I've been waiting for a lifetime just keep on So like you guys saw, the steering wheel is looking absolutely spectacular. I'm really happy with how the steering wheel came out. It, I'm so happy I did not wait on it. That spray I think is about $20, not the cheapest detailing spray, but I found out from reviews that is the best spray you can get for your steering wheel. So if you guys have an Alcantara wheel, do not put it to the last minute or you literally just destroyed your wheel. I've had this for a few months now and I knew I wanted to take care of it. So I went ahead and bought that bottle. I think I only used a quarter of the bottle to do all of that, which you guys saw. So it's, it's good for about maybe about a year's worth of work, which is well worth 20 bucks. So I'm gonna keep that handy. The car right now is looking exactly how I would like it, but there's just one mod that's been kind of annoying me whenever I drive the car. Come around over here. Oh, 
Oh my god. I added a wireless charging dock, which works. As you guys can see, let me go ahead and move on my glasses and everything. I have this, but whenever I drive, it flies off. And uh, whenever I put my phone, my phone kind of comes off because it's kind of angled like this. Or even if it's angled straight, the phone just slides off with a little bit of vibration. So I kind of want it to like, be angled upwards. So I think the thing I'm going to do here, I'm going to go ahead and just trim the back of it. I'm just going to go ahead and trim the whole back of it to where it angles downwards, uh, kind of like that. So when I put my phone, it holds it in place. So in order to get to that, I'm gonna have to take apart all this again. So uh, let's go into full time last mode again. It's one of those days that I'm like really satisfied. I'm doing things that I've been just wanting to do in my car. So like right here, I got a bunch of coins and it's just like, I got a chocolate that melted in here and it ruined this cup holder for me. So I'm going to clean that out. Also this, I can finally pull it out and then work on the bottom of this. So, uh, and I can also glue this little top portion. It keeps coming off. So I'm gonna go ahead and take care of this off the car. So without further ado, full time last mode, trimming this down and cleaning this out. So it is sitting perfect now. So as you can see, it's kind of dipping inwards, kind of sloping downwards. I think that's gonna be a huge help. Now, I think my phone will sit in the car perfectly and it shouldn't come out. So I'm super hyped for this. Let's go ahead and just put together this thing, put this together, go down to Walmart and get some Velcro because we need some Velcro for this. I got everything reassembled. So as for this, I'm gonna go ahead. It works and everything still. I trimmed it perfectly. I'm gonna get some Velcro and then that should be complete. So let's head down to Walmart real quick. He'll be here in about 30 minutes. Let's get some Velcro. All right guys, just got out of Walmart with some Velcro. It's actually $10. It's kind of crazy, but uh, let me go ahead and Velcro this thing down. It looks like we're gonna have to actually put on the Velcro a little later. Um, foreign bills of the Lamborghini is finally here. So uh, we gotta head back, we gotta head back. Okay. Okay. Sounds so good, guys. We're, this tune is worth every penny. Oh my God, it's my homie. Hold up, hold up, hold up. All right, guys. Uh, I finally got this thing back up. But that's not important. <laughs> <laughs> These guys. Guys, I have a Lamborghini pulling up to my crib. Like, what? <laughs> what the hell? This looks so good. Oh my God. Okay, first off, what's up, bro? Um, good. How you doing, dude? Oh, what's going on? Um, so, I'm gonna go ahead and talk to him, see what kind of video we're gonna have to film, but guys, what the hell? A Huracan Performante in front of our shop. Oh my lord, this looks crazy. This looks so good. So, um, hopefully, yeah, you know, you never know one day, you know, but, um, anyways, let me figure it out with him. I gotta talk to him. It's kind of rude of me. So, I'll get back to you in a second. Guys, so this thing also has, like, a lift system. So, oh, he's going up. Why are you going up? <laughs> so, he's, like, monster truck status. Is it rotor? Is it, like, carbon? Carbon ceramic rotor. No way. Okay, well, you might need to get some bags, my dude. <laughs> but other than that, oh my lord. No, nah, it was going up. Bro, how much are the rotors? Shit. Those are nice uh, rotors, you know? I paid, because one rotor was messed up, so I paid, it was like around 5,500. Yeah. For one. For one rotor. Yeah. For one rotor. Only one was messed up. <laughs> um, yeah. you know, I'll stick to my R8. You know, that's my dream car. Yeah. I'm cool with that. I mean. R8 parts, though. It's R8 parts? Yeah. So you're telling me if I get a car that's three times cheaper than this, it's the same price for me. You know, this and R8 is the same engine, right? Literally. Really? The new R8? What? Same exact engine. Ooh! We bro, bought, I'm so excited. What we the? bought RA parts to put in here. Oh <laughs> my god, really? Oh my god. All right, bro, we gotta figure out what we gotta film. We got, we gotta do something. It's raining, guys. Like, why? First off, who are you guys? So they you can introduce yourself. Like, Foreign builds on yeah. YouTube. So on YouTube, yeah. So we basically just got this car from uh, Blue Beauties and. Re he crashed it. We got it from Copart and actually rebuilt this car. So you guys actually do rebuilds on your channel as well then? Yeah, we do rebuilds okay. and just kind of have fun, you know? We mostly specialize in like G-Wagons and stuff. But... Yeah, which I noticed a lot of. Like I always see you come down here with a G. Was it you or I... was it you yesterday? Uh, was... yesterday. In I... a black G-Wagon. Probably one of us. One of you guys. Yeah, one... <laughs> I always see G-Wagons, but I mean, this is like pride and joy so far, right? Yeah. This is your biggest build? Uh, the, the most expensive, yes. How old are you? Uh, 25. Goals. When I'm 25, bro, this is the goal. So that's awesome. I'm All right, guys. Like I said, let me go ahead and figure out so I don't be rude. Let's figure out what we're gonna film, and I get back to you on a sec. There's a performante right there, just chilling. Like, who is that, bro? Do okay. we know them? We should. I don't know. We should follow him. We should just follow them, honestly. Let's see where. 
See all the money's on, rob them tomorrow, you know? <laughs> oh my lord, I feel like we're in LA all of a sudden. Damn. Going up to their shop right here. So they do a whole bunch of G-Wagons like we said earlier, but uh, this is their pride and joy right now, which is super sick. Guys, we literally only drove like five minutes and we're already at their shop, so I guess I'm gonna be coming here a lot more often. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ay, coming in, yeah, flex. I just wanna win, yeah. LABB who we running with, yeah. Dude, act, no he's not. Oh, hell no. Nope. So there was a reason why there's signs over there. <laughs> Hold up. Hello, guys. What's up? Ah, oh, that flex. <laughs> Let me get my 650i over here, dude. soft <laughs> tops yeah, no, I it doesn't feel matter it. Doesn't what car it is. I don't understand. It's a Lambo. Why is it a soft top? I'm so curious how a Lambo would look with a hard top, though. They don't make them hard top. Oh really? Oh my. Oh my God. All right, well, guys. So first things first, I do want to do a drag race. I might do some donuts. Um, are you gonna do donuts? It's um, all it's drive. Drive. Oh rip. Okay, I'll do some donuts. But um, we have to do. A, this is a perfect the spot. Thing is, for... The thing is, I could still do donuts with this, but I just got like some nicest new sticky Michelin's right here. Ah, uh, yeah, that's expensive. <laughs> I feel it. Now mine's are China. <laughs> mine's ain't a Lamborghini. I only bought China tires for my M4 though, because I went through them like like nothing, right? That you see, that's the thing. Me too. So, so I, I I started buying like 2,000 like Continentals, Pilot Sports, all this, and then I was just like, this is literally the stupidest idea I could do. Yeah. I go through them every every like you know few months, so I just start buying Ch Chinese tires, you know. So. Exactly. No, that 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 makes sense. Yeah, I'm looking. <laughs> that's off. Hold up. I, I, completely, I completely underestimated that. I completely underestimated. I was coming like this close. Oh my god, that sounds insane. Okay, we gotta get thumbnail right now, dude. This is sick. This is crazy. Might as well just drop the key. How much are these keys? I don't know, but the thing is, this is an Audi key. So, uh -huh. I have an S4, a, a 7 right now. Yeah. Right? And uh, I had an A7 also. So, only without this, this is Audi key, but they added this little what? beginning logo. So, if I get an R8, it's basically the same car. Same car. Basically. Same car number. Wow. Is the key the same? Key, yeah. What? That's crazy. It doesn't have that, the Lamborghini, the Lamborghini logo. logo. It has an Audi logo or what? It has an uh, Audi logo, it has I think, an over Audi here. Logo right here. That's yeah. crazy. Guys, I'm sorry for the wind, by the way. If there's a whole lot of wind noise, I'm trying to control it, but oh my god. Okay, all right, yeah. Uh, yeah, no, I'll take the car, dude. You can take mine. It's all good. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, <laughs> so, huge shout out to Foreign Bills for letting me drive a Lambo. This is not even just a her car, it's a Performante, right? It's a spider. Spy yeah, I mean. Yo, you ready? Yeah, I'm ready, I'm ready. You Hopefully, ready? I don't die today. Push that in, pull that out. Ooh, so elegant. Dry carbon, this looks so sick. All right, brother, let's get this. Guys, the <laughs> whole car is Alcantara. The seats, Alcantara. This thing so, feels so good, the seats. What the heck? They're really comfortable, huh? They're so nice. Man. Dude, these are Alcantara seats, oh my God. So, yeah, the carpets are aluminum with like sort of sandpaper. On what? It. So they're aluminum with like gray. Oh yeah, I feel it, that's crazy. Yeah. Talk about quality. Okay guys, so this is what you see in the movies. Kind of. So you lift this up. I mean, you can you can just push right through here, that's but that's right, that's no I'm, fun though. I'm lazy. <laughs> nah, that's no fun. You put that up, yeah. foot on the brake. Let's get it. <laughs> no way. Loud, so I don't know if anybody's gonna be here. Anything? Damn. It's pretty okay. much like track addition. So it's traction off? Uh, no. You can still turn it off. No, I don't want it off. Keep yeah. it on. <laughs> Not. Don't want to die today. It's all wheel drive, so you're not gonna spin out like a Mustang. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Yeah. Right? Yeah. All right, yeah. Is, is the lift up? No, it's good right now. It's down. Good? I can drive yeah. it? Yeah. <laughs> what the heck, guys? This thing's crazy already. V10 or V8 or what is this? V10, yeah. Oh my god. I think 
once you find a, like a straight road, you can kind of gun it a little bit. <laughs> That's so sick. <laughs> yeah. What the hell, bro? This isn't normal. So before this, you had an M4. I had an M4 like probably like two years ago. I had a whole bunch of cars before this. I sold my M4 and bought a G-Wagon because I was getting too much tickets. <laughs> and then, oh yeah, you told me about that. And then I flipped the G-Wagon. How does it feel in the passage? It's adrenaline going inside <laughs> you. For as much time as I've driven this car, I still get it, you know, the it's same so feeling. It's so fast, dude. Yeah, it pulls you uh, back into the seat, you know. Corsa, say, yep, all right. Ready? Oh my god. Steering is so small. Yeah. This car is like a baby. I know, it's pretty tiny. Hold that up and you hold oh, this. this hold this is an e-brake, so you pretty much just hold this up and it just goes up. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, coming in. Coming in coming yeah. In. Flex. I just wanna win. Just yeah. LA BB who we running with. Yeah. Two, two, three, three, I'm on ten again. Yeah. State your name. Bibbin dope on flame. I just switched. I drive a Lambo. <laughs> it has this little window right here where you can open it and you can kind of listen to the exhaust. No way. When you're driving. No way. So you, you're like closer to the engine, you can pretty much just hear everything. A little year from back. Yeah. That view looks so sick. That's how it looks when you look at the rear mirror right there. This is one thing I like about the Lamborghini is the mirrors. The mirrors are gorgeous. so sick. Okay, uh, we need a race for pinks. Yeah. Yeah. So it has to happen. By the way, the winner of the, the, the pink challenge is going to be on his channel. It's going to be on our channel. So you guys will see literally just the start of the race, but the rest of it is going to be on his channel. So if you guys want to see the full race, check out his channel. Link down below. Let's get it. Let's get it. All uh, right, guys. So I'm racing uh, my boy right here for pinks. So, you know, I'm trying to win a Lamborghini. Mm -hmm. Let's see how the start. You guys are about to capture the start. Again, the finish is going to be on his channel. Link down below. Three, two, one. <laughs> what happened? You I stayed burning out? I lost traction. I kept yeah. on losing traction. So I think I'm going to put on a sport, like traction completely on. Yeah. And then we're going to we're gonna do a roller. Roll, right, like cool. roll to 15. Go. So basically, we're gonna drive up to when we get to you, and then we're both gonna go. Okay, I'll stand right here. There's a cement part right here. I'll just stand there. Okay, it's right here. Okay. <laughs> that was, so that was sick. That was dude. fun. <laughs> too windy but uh yeah we just took out the car shout out to my guy right here for letting me drive a perf for my like again it's not even a, little, a regular lamborghini yeah so like that was insane shout out to my guy so i mean this is the first time we ever filmed together so probably we filmed this some more together right yeah we'll probably collab on some build in the future maybe build something together Who yeah knows? that'd be super sick and we both have pretty much we, we both rebuilt cars before so we know how to kind of how the drill goes i think it'd be super sick to do something together and you had an idea of bringing a g-wagon out here and Hopefully not flipping it like mother. Yeah, yeah, so let's not do that. But I mean, yeah. Anywho, guys, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to smash that like button. We're trying to make more videos like this down the road. But again, foreign bills, link down below. Shout out to you, my guy. That was this is probably one of, been one of the best days ever in terms of a car enthusiast. So shout out to my guy. Um, and shout out to his man right here as well. <laughs> so without further ado, guys, I love y'all so much. Remember to stay humble. See you guys in the next one. Peace out.